Okay, hopefully this looks fine. Um, hi! <laughs> hello, hello, hello internet. Haven't seen you in a little bit, of course, blah blah blah, all of that stuff about how I don't upload consistently, blah blah blah, excuses about being unmotivated to do things in July, and it's still July, but earlier in July. <laughs> anyway, this past weekend, weekend like Friday through th Tuesday, Tuesday, I was in New York City for the second time in my life. In case you don't know, I am completely in love with New York City and super obsessed with it and I kind of like... I had a time in my life where I was really obsessed with London, mostly because of Harry Potter, and then I always really did like the idea of New York City. And once like the London obsession faded, I was like really set on New York City and then I went the first time in February 2015 um, on a school trip. So you know, like one of those school trips with your choir where... It's really fun, but you take the bus everywhere, and it's very regimented, and I loved it. Like, I fell in love, and I was kind of afraid that my expectations for the place, like, wouldn't be met, and then they totally were, and I've been wanting to go back ever since then, and, um, <laughs> I finally got to because my roommate, my college roommate, has an internship, um, in Connecticut, and I stayed with her, and we took the train in to New York. And then my parents also came, they kind of hijacked my trip, and they stayed in the city, so I stayed with my friend for a couple days, and then I stayed with my parents in the ho their hotel for a couple days, and it was amazing. I got to see Fun Home, which was awesome. That's based on Fun Home by Alison Bechtel, which is a graphic novel that I really, really enjoyed. I gave it three stars on Goodreads, I noticed, but I actually liked it more than that, and I might, like, in retrospect, maybe I like it more than I did at the time when I read it. I think I'm gonna change my, re my rating on Goodreads. But, um, yeah, that was really good. I wish I had my uh, program to show you because I have other things I want to show you about things I did in New York but I saw that really cool because it's in a theater called something like the circle in the square or around in the square something like that because it's like an oval shaped theater and everyone sits around it and like it's not like a stage stage it's like there's people surrounding it it's really really cool actually I uploaded most of the pictures I took on New York onto my blog so I'll leave a link to that blog post below you can see all the photos I took there's no text in the blog post, I kind of just wanted a place to put all my photos, so if you want to kind of see what New York looks like to me, <laughs> or like what it did um, this past week, you can go look at that. I have a photo of the theater in there, whether or not I was supposed to take photos of it. <laughs> I do. I have one it's ending in September, so I'm really glad I got a chance to see it. Totally not something I was expecting to do because my roommate just like signed up for the lottery and then like 10 minutes later she texted me and was like, we just won these tickets. So that was really cool. What else? I went to the Strand, which is what I want to show you. Um, I've always wanted to go to the Strand. That's like a life dream of mine. Just, I've always wanted to go. And I finally got the chance to. And I want to show you the books that I got when I was there. I got four, I think. And those are one of the books I got. I went to a couple other bookstores. Um, there's a bookstore in the Chelsea Market. And then I went to McNally Jackson Books, which was really cool. But um, I also just spent a lot of money while there. So I didn't want to spend too much on books, because I also have all of these. These are all the books I haven't read. So I want to show you those. I guess I'll do that part right now. I'll show you the books I bought. I haven't actually unpacked yet. I got back two days ago, so I didn't unpack at all. But all my books are in this tote bag <laughs> that I got at the Chelsea Market. Um, it's a cool place, and I needed the bag because I wanted to get a tote bag at the Strand, because I felt like that's a very iconic thing, is the Strand tote bag. But they were like, you know, 20 bucks and I already had four books in my arms and I was like, that's going to be a lot of money. So I didn't buy the tote bag and then I had the plastic bag and that was just not fun to carry with my hand because we, my friend and I, walked all over the city. We didn't use a subway at all that day. We walked everywhere uh, and it was like healing my hands. And then the strand bags, you know, the yellow ones with the black names on it and then it has like the, the circle in the middle that's red and so it's a uh, strand. They're terrible. They're really poorly made because as I was, maybe it was like the weight of all the books I had, but as I was carrying it, I looked out of my hands and it was all green. I looked at the bag and it was white. Like all of the ink from the bag was transferring to my hands and my hands were covered in the yellow and black ink which made them green and my arms were. So when I got to the Chelsea Market, I had to buy this tote bag so I could carry the books around. Um, so I have this great tote. <laughs> Um, but instead of buying a tote at the Strand, I bought this little pouch that says Strand on it, and it has the city, um, with the little, like, I guess it's King Kong, I'm reading a book on top of the Empire State Building, um, I love it. This was cheaper than a tote bag, and ended up buying a tote bag anyway. I use little pouches like this a lot for, like, pencils and crap that I carry around on campus, so happy I have this. It's full of snacks, I think. 
yeah, it's full of snacks right now. But I, I, I'm really happy I got this little thing, so there's that. And all of the books I bought have, like, meaning to the city, I guess. Um, uh, oh, this is a book that I- Magonia. This is Magonia. I did not buy it there. I brought it on the trip to read, and I did not read once. So, um, so yeah, I bought four books, and I shall show you those right now. I bought two graphic novels, because I love graphic novels, if you don't know. Uh, I've been starting to read them a lot more in the past year, and I really, 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 really enjoy reading them a lot. I really love them, and I end up always buying graphic memoirs, like, a lot of graphic novels are memoirs, which I think is awesome. And, um, the graphic novel selection at The Strand is the best graphic novel selection I've ever seen at a bookstore. That was my favorite part of The Strand. The best thing they did is they actually separated graphic novels, like actual novels, and the um, comic book like trade paperbacks. They separated the actual graphic novels and comic book trade paperbacks. If you know the difference between the two, it's really nice when they're separated and not all together. And they had all the novels here and the comic books here, and it was just, just I love that aspect of it. But then also, uh, they just had a ton of graphic novels. Like I've never seen a place that well stocked. And um, I found a graphic novel that I've been looking for for forever, and it is The Infinite Weight and Other Stories by Julia Wirtz. In case you don't know, one of my favorite books I've read this year so far is um, Drinking at the Movies by Julia Wirtz. This, she's just like a cartoonist. Uh, she had an online series called The Fart Party, which I've never read, but I found Drinking at the Movies at a Barnes & Noble in like January. Drinking at the Movies is about She's like in her mid-twenties and out of nowhere she's like, I'm just, I'm sick of San Francisco. She lived in San Francisco. She's like, I'm sick of it. I'm just gonna move to New York City. She didn't really plan it at all. She just kind of moved and she did it. It's just a graphic novel full of little, um, kind of like page-long, uh, little stories about her experience moving to New York and I loved it and it's hilarious. It's so funny, like laugh out loud funny and I loved it. And I knew that she also had this one, The Infinite Weight and Other Stories, and I've been looking for it ever since and I haven't found it anywhere and I prefer to buy books in person than order them. Whatever I'm like, I can't find the book anywhere. People are like, just order online and I'm like, but it's so much more fun to buy in person than to get it in the mail, I think, personally. So I was so excited to see this. Um, because this, you know, she lives in New York, possibly still, so I thought maybe they would have her stuff. And they did, and I've started it, and I'm loving it, of course, because she's great. So I was really excited that The Strand had this. The other graphic novel that I got is, whoop, upside down, Ma, Are You My Mother? A comic drama by Alison Bechdel, the author of Fun Home. So I thought, since I saw, f I read Fun Home, and then I saw the musical, I was like, I should buy her other book in New York. I thought that'd be a great thing, because I think where I buy books, another reason why I don't like to order them as much is I always remember how I got a book. Uh, I will always remember how I got a book. You can pick any book on these shelves and I'll tell you who bought it for me, where I was, how I obtained the book. So buying this in New York I thought was going to be a really cool experience, and it was, and I'm really happy that I bought this there. Fun Home follows Alison Bechdel's relationship with her father, so Are You My Mother follows the relationship she had with her mother, so just exploring both of those things. And this is Central Her Mother, which I'm very interested about, because if you know the Fun Home story, it's pretty crazy, especially, like, I've, I was wondering more what her mother felt in Fun Home, the book, there's like a whole song about a musical that was really cool, but I'm really excited to hear more about her mother's experience with within their family dynamic, which is very interesting. Um, yes. The other two things I bought, uh, I could not resist this little Poems of New York book. It is uh, Every Man's Library Pocket Poets. I love Every Man's Library. I love their pocket editions. Um, in their pocket editions, I have uh, Edgar, Allan, Edgar Allan Poe stuff. I also just recently bought, it's not a pocket edition, but it's like smaller than a normal book, and it's a collection of just short stories. They're called bedtime stories. And I also have every one of Jane Austen's books in Every Man Library editions, and I think they're beautiful. And I saw this little poems about New York, and I love the cover, and it has this on the back, and it's just a gorgeous book, and it has like one of those little bookmarky things. And it's a collection of poems about New York, and I kind of wanted to sit at a coffee shop and read some, but I never did that. I thought that'd be fun. Maybe a little pretentious, <laughs> but I really wanted to, which I didn't do. But I still would like to just, you know, go through every once in a while and read some of these. Mark them up, get a nice pen that won't bleed through the paper. Um, maybe I'll start reading them when I start missing the city, which was exactly when we went in the Lincoln Tunnel and left the city was when I started missing it. So I will start reading these 
soon because it's just a cute thing to have and I bought it in New York which makes it even more special. And the last book I bought at the Strand was The Tightrope Walkers by David Almond. I found this in the young adult section and what I wanted to do was buy one young adult book there that I had never heard of before that I just found on the shelves and this was one and I love the spine that kind of caught my attention and it has black edges which I love and it's short and it just it's I looked up some reviews and everyone says it's like really creepy and dark and just like makes you feel weird and I like that and it also might be about a bisexual main character which I totally dig um it's Candlewick Press and I think Candlewick does a lot of cool different stuff. I bought a few of theirs recently, I got some of BEA, and I just think their stuff is just interesting and a little different and kind of like offbeat. And I can't tell you exactly what this is about because I don't exactly remember, um, but when I read the synopsis I just got a very eerie feeling and I did what I, what I wanted to do. I'd never heard of this before and I found it in that section so I bought it and it was nine dollars. Some of their books are discounted by a little bit or a lot like this one instead of being like 18 it's nine. So if you've ever heard of this or read it let me know what you think because I'm I would like to read this soon because it sounds weird. <laughs> those are all the books that I got in New York. I did go to two other bookstores but because I got those I didn't want to buy more even though I did want to buy more but I made myself be responsible but the one other thing I want to talk to you about and show you that I did when I was there I got to go to Stephen Colbert which was so awesome and I love Stephen Colbert and he's just such a precious little bean and he was even more so in person and it was so cute um since it is the Democratic National um convention this week um, all of his shows are live, so I saw, I was there on Monday night, and it was a live show, so it was, like, very quick, everything was, like, it was just very interesting and cool to watch a live show, because usually, you know, they're taping, so I'm assuming that they're a little more laid back, and takes a longer time, because you can edit and cut things up and everything, but, um, this was live, so everything had to be very precise, and it was really, really cool to watch, and Stephen's amazing, like, between, like, in commercial breaks, he's really nice, and he's funny, and he's just the same off of camera as he is on camera, which I was really happy to realize, like, it would've been the most disappointing thing in the world if, like, the camera turned off to a commercial break, and he was just, like, mean or grouchy or something, you know, but he was just kind of... He was just, like, the same thing. He just said really cute stuff, like, one time they were counting down to when uh, the show would be back and he started counting down and it was like weird numbers and he goes I only count down by prime numbers and then he kept going and then he couldn't think of seven and someone had to tell it was just it was all really cute and um, because it's the Democratic National Convention we got some extra stuff um, everyone got these badges that says late show delegate which was really cool and instead of calling this the Democratic National Convention he's calling it the Democratic National Convincing and they called the RNC something else last week too which was really funny and the tagline for that is a technically historic event death taxes and Hillary and again it says delegate and uh, I'm a Democrat so I'm really happy that I went and I got the Democratic uh, delegate badge and I'm just I'm so happy about having this and when I sat down at my seat um, not all seats had stuff on them some had hats some had flags but mine had this giant sign that again says national uh convincing and then the back says late show with stephen colbert and i'm gonna like hang up probably this side uh probably this side like on my dorm room or something because uh i just love stephen colbert um yeah that was really fun and the tickets are free in case you're going to new york or you live there or something they're free and it was just it was just a very cool experience and the tickets are free and i want everyone to know that because it was so much fun if you like colbert just like do it <laughs> it's great yeah that's all i wanted to show you i want to say hi let you know how much i love new york city and um yeah it was great and these are my new books that i'm just so happy i bought these in new york because last time i was there i didn't buy books and where i buy books is very important to me not always important but just like i always remember so it's nice when it's a special occasion like these ones um yeah and i'm hoping to go back 
to New York City for BEA next year and I actually I have a friend my friend Paige hi Paige uh, Paige just started a YouTube channel go go uh, uh, subscribe to her I'll link her below she's wonderful one of my best friends and I want you to subscribe to her she only has a couple videos up but it's fine just subscribe don't worry about it we want to we are both planning on trying to go to BEA and I'm already saying like we need to go see Colbert like we're going to Colbert because <laughs> it's free and we need to see Colbert so Yes. <laughs> Thank you for watching this vid. Um, I can't promise the next time I'll upload, but it will be a nice surprise the next time I do. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you um, eventually. Just follow me on all social media, so you're never, you know, whatever. I'll leave links are below. It's fine. <laughs> okay, bye! Also, I totally forgot to do this. I have new glasses! Yay! I don't think I had these glasses in my last video, but they're from a company called Fearmu, and uh, they're great. They sent these to me for free for review, and I'm very late on reviewing them, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, I love them. I actually, I picked them out um, as glasses that I would just wear sometimes, but I've not worn my red glasses since I got these in the mail. I just love the style, and they're they're really cheap. All their glasses are around $20, a little more, and sometimes a little less. And um, they're not poorly made either. Like, honestly, I expect them to be not well made, but these, like, haven't broke. They're not giving me, like, a weird disease. I don't know. They're great. Um, I get a lot of compliments on these. So if you're wondering where I got them, it's firmu.com. F-I-R-M-O-O dot -O com. And I'll leave a link to them below. And they've also given me a code for you to get free shipping on any pair of glasses. I'll leave that code below as well if you need a new pair of specs. Um, I think they're great. They, they're obviously, you know, they're not super well made and you can tell, like, they're not, like, really expensive, but, like, if you don't care about the, like, expensiveness of your glasses, these are, like, solid glasses that will sit on your face and let you see and make you look good. So, uh, recommend them. Go ahead, uh, check them below. Like, when I say that I genuinely like these, I actually do. They sent me for, like, an honest review and I actually love these glasses. So, if you want to pair glasses, go ahead and check the link below and now I am actually going. Bye!